Hi, welcome to Treat to Read. I'm Margaret and this is Newton. Today we're going to read A Butterfly Smile, written by Methangi Submarinian and illustrated by Lavanya Nadu. This story and many others are available online at storyweaver.org.in. Line up class, let's go to the park, Layla Miss says. All the students hold hands chattering away. Kavya stands by herself. As they start walking, Layla Miss asks, does anyone know what a caterpillar becomes when it grows up? Kavya's stomach flips. She knows the answer. Should she say something? Kavya and her family have just moved to Bengaluru from her village. They live at the construction site where her parents work. It's hard living in a half-finished house. The air smells of smoke and the honking traffic makes it hard to sleep. The towering buildings, zooming cars, and busy people make her feel very, very small. Kavya has been coming to school for a week. She still hasn't spoken to anyone. What if they make fun of her accent or tease her because she's never been to school before? Kavya takes a deep breath and raises her hand. In a noisy city like Bengaluru, she can't be quiet forever. When caterpillars grow up, they become butterflies, Kavya says. That's right, Layla Miss says. Caterpillars are only caterpillars for a few weeks, Kavya says. They spend that whole time eating leaves. They must get very big, says Mary, her classmate. They do. After they eat and eat and eat, caterpillars weave cocoons on the sides of plants. They go inside where they grow and change, says Kavya. That's correct, Layla Miss says. They stay in the cocoons for about two weeks. When they come out, they are butterflies. Look, we're at the park, Mary says. Kavya gasps. The park is covered in butterflies. Blue butterflies, the color of rivers, Yellow butterflies, the color of sunlight. Orange butterflies, the color of ripe chikus. Black and white butterflies, the colors of starry skies. These are all the colors Kavya misses from her village. She feels her heart flutter. Every year, butterflies travel thousands of kilometers to come to this park. They are here for more food, better weather, and a safe place to lay eggs, Layla Miss says. This journey is called migration. Don't they get tired flapping their wings for so long, a classmate asks. If there's a strong wind, they don't have to flap their wings, Kavya says. They spread their wings and glide. That must be bumpy, Mary whispers to Kavya. Kavya thinks about the bus ride to Bengaluru, squeezed in between all the luggage, bumping and tumbling for hours and hours and hours. Is that how a butterfly feels on the wind? When butterflies migrate, they follow rivers. To stay healthy, they stop along the riverbank to soak up minerals with their feet. It's called mud puddling, Layla Miss says. Mud puddling, Mary says. That sounds like fun. Mary and Kavya smile at each other. It is, Kavya says, but now puddles are hard to find. In Kavya's village, Men in trucks take sand away from the river. The weather gets hotter and hotter. There is less and less rain. Last year, the river went dry. The butterflies didn't have enough water to mud puddle. Kavya's family didn't have enough water to farm. That's why they moved to Bengaluru. You know a lot about butterflies, Kavya, says Layla Miss. That's because they're my favorite insects, says Kavya. Why do you love butterflies so much, Kavya asks Mary. How can Kavya choose just one thing? She loves how their bodies are sometimes spotted and sometimes striped, how they drink nectar with their long noses, how they spread pollen, which makes more flowers grow. They fly far, but wherever they land, they make new friends, Kavya says, squeezing Mary's hand. They're very small, but they're also very brave. Just like you, Layla Miss says. Kavya smiles as wide as a butterfly's wings. Here's how to make a butterfly rest station. Butterflies in India migrate twice a year. 
their journey is getting harder and harder because our forests and rivers are disappearing. Butterflies don't have enough places to rest. Many get tired along the way. One way to help butterflies is to make safe spaces for them to stop and have a good meal. Here's how to make a butterfly rest station. Find a flat vessel with high edges, like a thali or a plate. Butterflies love bright colors. Paint the vessel red, yellow, or orange. Fill the vessel with butterfly food. It's easy to make. Mix four cups of water with one cup of sugar. Add pieces of overripe fruit. Butterflies love bananas, guavas, mangoes, papayas, and oranges. Keep the vessel out on your veranda, windowsill, or anywhere outside. Clean and refill the vessel every two to three days. To attract even more butterflies, plant flowers that butterflies love. You can plant verbena, geraniums, dahlias, or sunflowers. You don't need a lot of space. You can plant them in pots on the ground or keep them on windowsills. This story was about butterflies in India. North America has butterflies called monarchs that complete a similar migration. I've included a link below the video to learn more about monarch butterflies. Thanks for reading along with us. Find more at treattoread.com.